Welcome everyone. Before we continue our Bible reading, let's pray. Father, we rejoice in your presence. We celebrate your continual presence and we enjoy your constant love. We just want to spend time in your presence. We love to remain and abide. Father, touch all hearts deeply for your glory honor and praise bless us all and we bless your kingdom in all places and bless this reading in Jesus name Amen we are reading Revelation chapter 16 and it covers the first and the seventh volumes and the first one the loathsome sores, the second, the sea turns to blood, the third, the water turns to blood, the fourth, men are scorched, fifth, darkness and pain, sixth, Euphrates dried up, seventh, the earth utterly shaken. Chapter 16 And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art, and wast, and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and the power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God which had power over these plagues and they repented not to give him glory and the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat the seat of the beast and his kingdom was full of darkness and they gnawed their tongues for pain and blaspheme the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come. As a thief, blessed is he that watcheth 
and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were voices, and thunders, and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake, and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath and every island fled away and the mountains were not found and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven every stone about the weight of the talent and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail for the plague thereof was exceeding great And here is our summary. And Euphrates means the good and the abounding river. And Armageddon, the Greek word for Armageddon comes from the word meg which can be translated precious fruit, excellent, choice things, pleasant things, can also be viewed as a realm where both good and evil is gathered together. The battle on God's great day includes the war within the hearts of mankind. interesting and in revelation chapter 16 verse 17 it has come to be as in to give birth the greek word is genomai similar to our english word genome and it's translated three times in romans chapter 7 verses 3 to 4 as married then weighing a uh, about a talent a talent was a monetary measure of gold silver or brass believed to weigh about 95 pounds that's all and thank you for listening